Hi there, Phil Simborg, USBGF Teaching Pro, with a very interesting position. I think many of you may be familiar with this position. I've seen it a couple of times before myself in the last 55 years that I've been playing backgammon. And lots of people get a lot of plays wrong from this position. It's pretty surprising. But let's take a look at the score here. That's what's interesting about this position. Uh, blue is winning... 9 to 7 in a match to 11. And as you'll see, I've set my extreme gamut scores to the away score because it's the away score that really matters. By the way, you can set your extreme gamut to those scores too. Right click and you can choose absolute score or away score. I highly recommend that you get used to using the away score. And by the way, when I'm playing in a live tournament, if you walk by my, my uh, game and you look down at my score sheet, you wouldn't see that the score is 3-3 three to three or 5-5. Five to five. You would see it 3 away, 4 away, or 3 away, 3 away. I write the away score down on the score sheet itself to remind myself what the away scores are. It's very, very important. This is one of the most fun scores, the 2 away, 4 away. Let's, for, uh, for example, let's assume that Red, who is 4 away, gets the opening roll and rolls a nice roll. Let's say he rolls a 4-2, and he makes a 4-point. And now Blue rolls a 5-2. Well, it's very, very important to know how to play the checkers properly here. And I'll tell you the right play. Well, let me ask you, first of all, think about the right play. What would you do? The right play is to split the back checkers. Your goal is to try to make an advanced anchor as soon as possible. Try to make your opponent's 5-point, 3-point, or 7-point as soon as possible because you have to assume the cube is going to be turned soon and you're going to be playing gammon save. You're going to be playing to win the game but you don't want to get gammon because getting gammon would lose you the match. And you have every reason to believe that Red might double this game very soon because he wants to get the cube up uh, to where he can win the match with a gammon. At the same time, if he turns the cube it doesn't cost him to get gammon, so he can even play more aggressively because he doesn't have to worry about getting gammon after the cube is turned. Gammons cost him nothing. So two-way, four-way is a very interesting score for both checker play and cube play. And by the way, at mindgamecenter.com, M-I-N-D-G-A-M-E-S center.com, uh, which is a website that I helped develop with Perry Gartner and some partners, we have some of the best players in the world with lessons for as low as 99 cents. There's a great one by Falafel. He's the number one giant in the world currently. And he did a lesson exactly on four-away, four two-away, on how to play the checkers in the cube and with a lengthy discussion. So I recommend that uh, at this very critical score, that's a good lesson to take. It costs you $2.99 with 10 positions that you can practice. You can access the Mind Game Center. It's called Backgammon Tutor on your on your Android, or you can access it on a tablet or on your computer. So it would be a great way to learn about this play and about these cube actions, uh, too. By the way, Red's on roll. Should he double here? Awfully early, isn't it? Not a good time to double. Way too early in the game. But if you miss this double, you'd be wrong. You'd be making a blunder. Let me show you. Red really needs to activate gammons. It's a 9.095 error not to double here. And most people miss cubes like this at this score. And, of course, it's a big, big take. It'd be a 30% error to, to drop. The take point for blue at this score is 20%, right just a hair under 20%. The gammon value is 1.0. He does have to worry about getting gammons, but here he's going to get gammon 18% of the time. And when you subtract 18 from 44, he's at 26 so he's still well above the take point of 20%. That's why it's a big, big take. Let's check it, by the way. Extreme Gammon. Analyze. Cube information. The take point, 19.89. The Gammon value when the cube is on 2, 1.0. So the, the formula and the method I gave you of determining that it's a take works. How do you know when to double? Well, that's a little trickier. Market losers come into play very, very much at these scores, but... There's a real good rule of thumb at two-way, four-way, win to double. If you can even sneeze at some gammons, if it really looks like there's a chance to win some gammons, you're probably right to turn the cube. Because uh, you really need to get the gammon value up to one. You really need to take away your gammon values. And if you make a mistake and turn the cube and he wins one point, uh, two points instead of one, you haven't lost that much equity. 
because just losing one point here, you're in pretty big trouble in the match. You have to win three games. You're only about 18.5% chance to win the match if he wins one point and goes to Crawford. So turn that cube quick. So this is a good lesson, a two-way, four-way. It's one of my favorite scores to play at on either side, uh, largely because most of my opponents get it wrong, and uh, I get gain some equity because of that. Uh, why am I teaching you this? You might play me sometime and get it right. Maybe I'm making a big mistake here. From now on, maybe I should be giving you the wrong information. By the way, I'm showing this position to anybody who comes to the USBGF Facebook site partially as a teaser. Uh, I'm doing two or three positions a week that are available only to USBGF members, and you have to access it by going to the USBGF website and joining uh, or becoming a member. It's only $40 a year for a regular membership. There's a tremendous number of benefits other than just seeing my videos. Uh, you'll see a lot of other great information and a lot of other benefits for joining, being able to participate in online tournaments. And we have quite a few members that are not U.S. citizens. Just because it's the United States Backgammon Federation, you're more than welcome to join and, and take advantage of the benefits and support the organization no matter where you live in the world. And uh, you'll see that it's well, well worth it. And hope you enjoy these, uh, these videos and these lessons. I keep your comments and compliments coming, and even your criticisms coming. If you got some ideas, sometimes I do screw these up and, and make a wrong comment or, or have a wrong score or a wrong take point, and, and I get corrected, and I really appreciate that because it helps me stay sharp, too. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you go to Mind Game Center and check out falafels and uh, some of the other topics that are there as well. Bye-bye.